close your eyes and watch your breath. And try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. If any other thoughts come up in the mind, just let them go. You don't have to get involved with them. <coughs> any sounds outside disturbing, you don't have to pay them any attention. They pass away. But you want to stay with the breath. You want to develop this quality of consistency that turns into concentration. You're trying to develop some quality in the mind. It's the same as when you practice virtue and generosity. These things give quality to your actions, quality to your speech. Because these are mo our most valuable possessions, our, th our thoughts, our words, our deeds. Things outside are just the results of our thoughts and words and deeds. So you want to keep the source in good condition. When the source is in good condition, then the results will take care of themselves. But all too often we get distracted. This looks nice, that looks nice, or we don't like this, don't like that. We go off with our likes and dislikes. And at that point, the mind begins to lose some of its quality. So bring it back here. Develop the qualities of mindfulness, alertness, discernment. Try to notice when your breath is comfortable, when it's not. That's the beginning of discernment. You're learning to see subtle things. Because what you're going to be looking into deeper is the subtle things that happen in the mind, because those are the things that cause suffering, both for yourself and for other people. So you want to make sure that you can detect these things when they're in a weak form before they actually start causing trouble. So start by sensitizing yourself to the breath in the present moment. Take an interest in the breath. After all, it is the force of life. Without it, you die. It only stands to reason that if this force is in good shape, it's going to be good for the body and good for the mind. And then the goodness spreads out, because when the body and the mind feel secure and healthy, they feel less threatened by things outside. And when you're not feeling threatened, you're more likely to start wondering about looking into other people's well-being, too. You develop these forms of merit, you want to share this merit with others. So you have to have something good to share before you can send it out. And so you want to make sure that what you're sharing is complete. Virtue, concentration, and discernment. Virtue, generosity, and meditation. These are the things that make your virtue complete, that make your goodness complete, that bring quality to your thoughts and words and deeds. So when you want to dedicate the merit of your action to someone else, someone who's passed away, make sure it's good quality that you're sending. After all, you're going to the, all the trouble of sending something, so make sure that it's good. And in the case of the mind, the goodness of the mind, it doesn't come from having lots of things in mind. It comes from having one thing in mind and being very focused and very clear. So try to develop that quality in the mind, because that's the quality that enables things to be good for you and for other people. So make sure that your sense of quality is sensitive, so that you want things of high quality and don't settle for second best. <coughs>